Okay, so, so we want to show you how to install the cheapest, easiest, but durable roof on a flat roof. You don't need to, to hire a, a roofing contractor. You can do it yourself. It's very simple. Yeah. The only requirement is you need a slanted roof and you need a wife. Yeah, they can do two people only. This roof could have been saved if they fixed the flashing. The flashing is the problem. This is a huge secret. There is flashing here, but this flashing is just was with caulking, only caulking. Uh -huh. And the caulking came loose and the water goes behind here. Yeah, very obvious. Look at how open it is yeah. all the way here. That looks nice. That looks like there's no problem, but... When water leaks in here, it got underneath the membrane and it caused the fiberboard to compress. And you can see all the screws that popped up everywhere. And these screws will poke through the membrane and that's the problem. And we got it's the problem, but I call volcanoes. Volcanoes, okay. Yeah, because I'm from Puebla, Mexico. Volcanoes <laughs> popping up. Me. Okay. Because there's so many. The first is to clean your roof. And that's why you have a wife. She yeah. knows how to clean. <laughs> yeah, because I can't spend all the money that I make. That's why she's working. She wants to spend all the money. Yep. All right. I want to go to Mexico to see my mom. Oh, that's she's, the She's thing. older, so I need to go see my mom and oh, I need the she's money. she's going to see her. Mommy is 82. 84, and I'm anxious to go see her because she has um, depression. Yeah. So I need to go see her. I'm really anxious. I need to do this job and go to Mexico. Okay. I, need to the, I need the money. I need the money. <laughs> then... The EPDM also shrunk. You cannot just go and do a roof over this. So if you have this scenario, just cut it away. Oosh. There we go. I'm going to cut it. The difference, eh? Big. I huh? shrunk a lot. But in sweetheart, you need to cut it a lot right there because we need to remove the bun. I need to cut this away. Yeah. Yeah. But do you check the weather? Yeah. Do I check the weather. Este hombre never ever check the weather before do a job. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's gonna rain. Oh, okay, okay. We're still okay. We fixed it. Yeah? <laughs> These are special roofing screws for EPDM and washers like this, okay? Oh, nice, Bihar. You take a break and you eat the peanut butter sandwich that your wife made. Mm, 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 mm. She's working. Now I'm taking a break, okay? That's how you do it. We get a lot done that way. Yeah, that's the way we do it. <clears throat> one eat, the other one work. There are three ways you can get materials on a roof. One way is to get a truck from the roofing supply place to boom it up for you. Maybe or 80, $150. Yeah, maybe that much, yeah. not even that much. The other way is with the ladder lift. Mm -hmm. And that's what you see here. We have a ladder lift. Is it, and what is the third, the third way? To oh, do the third it? way is to get a wife. Yeah, to cut it in half for the floor, and then you have a good muscles, and then you carry on, okay? Look at my muscles. That's the third way. You're cutting it in half and bringing it up a ladder. And... Let me show you what I did. So I screw this all down. Even there, tied to the wall. You see that? Here's something else you need to do. You see the volcanoes? That they, my, my wife said volcanoes. You take a hammer, and you make them flat. See that? Look at this one. Done. All right, the next thing is you want to prepare is the scupper. All those pooling here couldn't get over here. There you go. You can see I removed something. There's a bump here, so I need to remove all of that without going too deep. See that? That lowered a lot. We're using mule hide products, which is a ABC supplies They're all over the country. And this is SA base sheet, okay? Self-adhering base sheet. That's what it is. We use any any brand. You can use Liberty at the Home Depot, but the Home Depot doesn't always sell the base sheet. So there's 200 square feet in a base sheet roll. 100 square feet in a cap sheet. See, we, I went up the wall there, around six, eight inches. I'll bring the other one from the top. 
down to here. Okay, so that's it. Just like that. More for my side, no? Take a corner, and you cut it up in a corner. Like that. So they overlap each other. See there? That you have to really take it off. So that will, that's why it's called a peel and stick. So you remove this. People ask me, but it's not sticking. It doesn't have to stick. It's not really important to stick to the base. Now, if it's plywood, it will stick. You will never get it off. So it's gonna stick a little bit, but you don't have to worry about sticking all the way, okay? So you um, overlap the seams, okay? Line it up. Okay. My wife can do it too. It's not because he's tired now, not because <laughs> when I say I want to do it, they don't let me do it. Need a hook blade to cut the membrane. Take a corner and you cut it up in a corner. Like that. So they overlap each other. The next step is to install the SPS self-adhering cap sheet over the base. You roll out the cap sheet and line it up and then you remove the plastic. So it rained overnight and we were not done with the roof. So here's the issue. You know, I said, sweetheart, you check the weather or the, and he said, yes, I check it. Not, they always happen the same thing. Guess what, they rained. <laughs> so that's the base we have. So the water would flow underneath this cap sheet. You see there, you see there? And that's what you want to prevent if you're not done with the job. So what you do is you put a little bit of tar not much. You lift the membrane up and you put tar underneath there. Like this I did this morning to prevent the water from going underneath. That's how you do it. This is a relatively flat area and water ponds here. It can get into the seams and so you cannot just put peel and stick on a flat section and think it's not gonna leak. You have to seal it more properly. I'm gonna show you two ways how to seal it. One way is with a little torch you heat up the seam and then you can seal it. That's it. And that's welded now. And now I'm going to show you another way. So the other technique, if you don't have a torch, like I did here, you see, I didn't torch it properly, see there? Still open. Is to use turbo poly seal, which is much more secure. And water would pool here in this area and it could come back into the seam. So you have to secure it. So here's the best way from experience. If you're gonna secure it on a flat surface, because peel and stick is not meant for a flat surface where water sits. But you can get away with it if you do it this way. You take this turbo poly seal, you put yourself... Anybody, most people don't have a torch. Yeah. And this is the simple, easiest way to do it. Very, very simple and easy. So peel and stick for any homeowner, anybody. And this will last 20, 20 years, 30 years easy. And she put a roll of fleece over it. She's just doing so we speed up this process. So make sure you cover the polyester completely. You cannot leave it, the sun will break it down. All right, so now I wanna show you a different trick. So for being professional, you can buy yourself the granular, buy any granulars at the roofing supply place. You cover everything granulars so it matched the roof. You don't have to do it. The, uh, the turbo poly seal will last 10, 12, 15 years. I just do this to look more professional and this will embed on it, but you have to do it right away. You cannot wait a few minutes, it will, it will get dry. 
Oh, I guess I want to do my way. That's what it is, I guess. Oh, she wants to do it her way. Okay. You remove the plastic. This is very easy. Very easy. So you get your next roll. Look, this will stick to that. When I heat, when the sun heats it up, this will stick to that uh, base so well you will not be able to take it apart. And look how it sticks to the base. It's yeah. unbelievable. It's real. It's not hot. Eh? It's not even hot. If it gets hot, it will stick so well you cannot release it. So you put your next roll over. Six inch, right? More than six inches. Okay, all right. You yeah, you have more than six inches. Yeah. So Maybe it's ten. this plus this. You cut the roll. More or less to the top if you want to. And you take your base, remove this, and remove this. Just like that. So when it's hot, you want to step on this to make the seams stick together. So you want to put your weight on it. This is 200 pounds of weight. This roof is fairly flat, and I want to show you a trick. What I don't like, if you, are, if, you, if, you, if you don't have a slanted roof, this is not much slanted. So water would come and sit here and may go to the seam. And the seam is not 100% secure. So I want to show you a way how to secure it. I do like to do this. Always, don't don't heat up and flap flap it over like that. Roll over like that. See how it's stuck? Because I heat it up, you cannot even remove it. That's how it gets stuck. Look, this is how you do it. You take your towel and move that corner. Never flap it over. Heat up that corner, and you do a triangular. I'm pushing it with my trowel the side. So always do it very controlled. You keep it controlled like this. And you move the membrane little by little by little bit. That's it. And look, see that? Very, now water cannot get in there. That's one way to do it. The tip, never store these rolls like this. They get oblong, they cannot roll then. So I'm trying to roll it, look. Yeah, cannot it's roll flat. it. It's flat. Always stand the roll up like that, okay? All right. That's how you do it, that's a tip. After now, we got membrane down on the entire roof from the bottom all the way up, we did it. So we came up the sides. Scupper. We need to make the scupper, it's gonna rain tomorrow. Otherwise, this would be a huge swimming pool. Okay? Open. Hopefully, we get it right. The key is to get this low. This, this is, this is the, the membrane is breached open there. So, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna cut this maybe to the. I use turbo poly seal. Amazing product to make all my transitions flashing. That's where the extent of my seal will go. And then on the inside is round everything. So you want to cut some tabs in a in a fleece like this. And then, let me see, if I do it this way, 
Okay. Put it there. Tabs. Make it. That's it. See? See how fast I made this copper? And then you paint that. <coughs> okay. Even my grandma, they can do that way. <laughs> <laughs> These are the granules, the same as the roof, and you, you sprinkle that on. And voila! This is the cap on top of the wall. This is the difficult part. Let me show you. Origin initially, we installed the uh, base sheet on top of the wall. The right way now is, is to put a drippage. And by the way, never buy a drippage at Home Depot. They don't have it. This is commercial grade. It's like a 32 gauge, gutter gauge. All right. And so the right way is to do it this way. You install a drip, drippage like this, and then you put your cap sheet over that, and it will stick to the metal, but it's not very good. It will not stay, water would leak right in here, where, there's, where the joint is, right here. See the joint here? Water would leak right underneath there, because this doesn't stick, completely seals the met, uh, to the metal. So I wanna show you a better way so you don't have this trouble when you install a drip I'm gonna install the drip cap on top of the membrane like this okay and I want to show you how we're gonna address it but you can see the membrane goes over this here very important you want to go over at least three four inches you see that now if you look it will stick, but it's not 100%. So I, I do use a little torch and to burn that plastic and make it work together. So you don't have to do it. I just like to do it. it it's already sticking. Very nice. Very nice. And that's what you do with a little heat. Okay. Little heat and that works good. Three inch, three inch roofing nails. I, I, I really don't have a drippage because the place that I buy it from didn't have a regular drippage. This is called a gravel stop. There's a lip here. There's yeah. a lip up. Yeah. It's called a gravel stop. There's the old fashioned roofs that they use to stop the gravel from going off the roof. All right, so it's called the gravel stop. Now, you can use it. I use it. Look what it looked like before. You can see what it looked like. See there? And now let's see. Beautiful. Good to put a nail every 10 inches. You overlap the, the drippage like four or five inches, see? You paint this uh, turbo poly seal, see that? You paint the turbo poly seal on. <coughs> and see how easy it is to make the transition a seal on a seam, on a drippage. I put my granules over that. You can save you can save on the product by cutting it in half. Let it. You can just do a two inch strip and it will be just as good. So it's only two inches. It saves a lot of material. And honestly, you go very fast. Yeah. N very fast. Yeah, you, it just doesn't take long. Okay. Right so you can put the sand down. Yeah. Okay.
taller than we do. Okay. Later more we have. Beautiful. Our material only comes right to here. That's where we came up to. So it's not even high enough or we want to make a transition to the brick. I don't want to use this flashing. This is not flashing. So what I did was I cut the strip like this that I'm going to go over that metal to there. And then I'm going to make a transition here. I don't want to make a transition onto paint with turbo poly seal because paint will peel and it's, it's not uh, compatible. The easiest way is with a torch. You could make this stick. I mean, you could do it this way and stick it there, but it's very hard if it's cold, it doesn't stick. You need a little bit of heat. You see it doesn't stick? Oh, there's, no, there's plastic there. That's why it didn't stick, right? So let's see <laughs> if I remove the plastic, maybe it will stick. And you, you don't have to do anything. You don't need to use a torch, okay? But I like to use a torch because it makes it a little bit better. You put it there and it sticks. That's what's called a peel and stick. It sticks to the, it sticks to this. And if it's a little bit hot, it will stick more. But it doesn't stick to the paint that much. A torch does help. You could get away and nail this down. As long as you can get this nail down maybe, or uh, stick it somehow. I'm gonna use a torch to stick it to this paint, but you can nail it down, you can, there's different ways. But I want you to, this is, has to be flat, like that, okay? Okay, so that's it. Look, it sticks. Look how nice it sticks. You see that? That's it. Now, I like to also, just to make it nice and tight, I like to do the bottom too. Stick it to the bottom, and the flashing is beautiful. This roof transition to the wall is really going to be nice. Look how nice that is. There's no easier way than to do a roof than this. There's nothing. This is so easy. Look at the threshold there. Huge threshold. So water can sit here and get underneath this membrane, and this door was supposed to be mounted on the, this side, not on the outside, not opening out, but, but sit here and then go open. That's what this door should be. So this has a long threshold. So I'm gonna fix that now. So the water cannot, because it's gonna rain and water's gonna sit here and then it's gonna go underneath. Mm -hmm. so I cleaned it up so I can put my transition there. That's good. Transition to the wall to make our flashing. And that's the most important part of a roof is the flashing. Transition. 
anywhere where you need to make a transition to metal, brick, cement, transition to the wood. I first grinded the old wood off, make it clear, and then uh, now I can seal to that as well. Okay. Just like that. So when I step on it, it will match. Okay. So this is what the flashing looks like. This is what the door looks like. Very, very nice. I mean, unbelievable. And then, look what the roof looks like. Beautiful. Not, not, very, almost no water sitting there. Do that. Huh? That was raining for four days. Yeah, for four days, yeah. A lot. So, look, it's very nice. Yeah, very nice. I want to see your support from you guys. I clean before, I clean after, I bring the rose. I suggest my husband how to do to better um, this thing. I really, I said, why we need to go all the way here? It's not necessary. It's right here and nice and clean. And I, I put these things because you saved a lot of money. I saved it because he always overdo and work too much. They don't, they don't think, okay? So you need to give me comment, give me thumbs up, and see if I need to go to Mexico. Because that was my, my um, I came to work because I want to go to Mexico to see my mom, and I need the money. They need to give me at least half, right? Okay, give me thumbs up.